Today, I'm going to geek out about Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons is a roleplay game, and probably one of the oldest fantasy roleplay games. Roleplay doesn't just refer to kinky sex play, it also means a kind of game where people use their imagination and some dice to play characters and go on an adventure. It's like a story, but where you play characters and make decisions so that you're sort of inhabiting the story. Basically one person, the dungeon master, creates the whole situation, the mission you're trying to accomplish, the storyline, settings, characters and monsters, and then they lead you through it all with verbal description, sometimes with some visual aids such as maps, and the other people make characters uh, for themselves with specific stats, equipment and abilities. There are usually detailed and specific rules and lots of dice throwing uh, to decide outcomes of specific tasks or combat. It's also a lot of fun. I love Dungeons & Dragons in particular because I'm a massive fan of the fantasy genre. My first exposure to fantasy must have been at about the age of 11 or 12 and it came in two forms. Tolkien's uh, The Hobbit and the fighting fantasy game books. Game books, or choose your own adventure books, are really the book equivalent to a roleplay game, I suppose. Although the choices are limited, whereas in theory with a roleplay game you could decide your character does pretty much anything. The dungeon master will try to steer you back to the quest they had in mind, of course, but if you just decided to do your own thing, then they'd have to either improvise when, what you encountered, or work out ways to try and force you back on course. So you can see why people enjoy it. Theoretically, the sky is the limit, and there is plenty of scope for unpredictability and fun. One of the things I love about Dungeons & Dragons is how social the experience can be. There's often a lot of banter and chit-chat that goes alongside the play, and people really do bond and start to feel like a community. This is probably why it attracts a lot of introverts. When you find yourself anxious and shy in more typical social situations, but really do crave that kind of connection with people, then it can really help you feel included and valued part of the group. There can also be a camaraderie between the players. You are a team of adventurers working together to achieve an outcome and facing the traps, tasks and monsters that the dungeon master throws at you. It feels collaborative. These are the two ways it differs from war games like Warhammer. People work together and there is a, and there is a lot of general chit chat, joking around and banter alongside the pure game talk. It really is a wonderful way to spend an evening. That's all true of roleplay games generally, but the reason I specifically enjoy Dungeons and Dragons is, of course, the setting itself. I love fantasy, and there is no fantasy more fantastic than Dungeons and Dragons. Wizards can cast fireballs and lightning bolts, transform flesh into stone, or charm a monster into a friend. There are orcs, goblins, trolls, elves, there are dragons, some of which breathe fire, some of which breathe ice, and some of which breathe acid. Different types of dragons are different colours and have different breath weapons, which is pretty cool. There are scary undead creatures, zombies, skeletons, ghouls, whites, wraiths, ghosts, mummies, vampires, and there are strange creepy creatures that live deep, deep underground. Ah yes, the Underdark. A web of caverns and underground realms, including luminous mushrooms and subterranean cities and lakes. Magical, inspiring, awesome. And there are demons and devils, elementals and even angels. Yes, there are other realms of existence. Magical plains of pure fire or oceans of water without sky or ground, plus the various realms in which angels, devils or demons dwell. There are monsters straight out of ancient myth such as Hydras, Chimeras, Medusa and Pegasus. There are giants and centaurs, pixies and sprites. There's so much cool, cool fantasy stuff in Dungeons and Dragons. Adventures can take place in deep subterranean caverns, constructed underground realms called dungeons, in forests or deserts, mountains and ice, under the sea or in otherworldly realms. It's a feast for the imagination, and pretty much the perfect example of what I mean when I say I love fantasy. People have different tastes, in what fantasy elements they enjoy. I'm pretty obsessed with evocation magic, the fireballs and lightning bolt stuff, dragons, the undead, demons and the underdark, but other people might prefer dwarfs, giants, warriors and religion. But there's pretty much something for everyone in Dungeons and Dragons and it all depends on what the dungeon master planned into the adventure. A wise dungeon master will create plenty of variety anyway. Two things can be slightly frustrating about D&D. Sometimes the crawl from low level to higher level can seem to take too long. 
you might not meet any of the more powerful and truly awe-inspiring creatures at the beginning and be impatient to get up to, say, 10th level so that you can really fight one of the really cool monsters you read about in the Monster Manual. Gosh, I'm bored with fighting goblins all the time. When do I get to face a dragon, for example? And you are pretty much subject to the whims of the Dungeon Master. If he or she has a thing for lizard, lizard men, for example, and all you ever encounter is lizard men, you might feel like shouting, What the fuck, Dungeon Master? Throw the occasional skeleton in there, will you? I'm a cleric and I haven't used once used my turn undead ability. As I said, a wise Dungeon Master will create variety and cater to the tastes and abilities of the players. Otherwise, it could get very tedious for everyone very quickly. But yeah, basically, Dungeons & Dragons is cool as fuck and I love it. Have you ever played D&D? How about other role-playing games such as Call of Cthulhu or Vampire Masquerade? Or similar settings in, in other types of games such as Magic the Gathering or World of Warcraft? What do you think of it? Any suggestions for future geek out videos? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.